Good evening. Um, first, I want to say rest in peace to Bradley Blackshire. Uh, second, I want to address Mr. Carpenter. Last time I was here, uh, you called me a liar um, in regards to saying my tape was edited, uh, which I think we've moved past that now, but I just want to make it clear I'm a lot of things, but a liar I'm not one. Um, secondly, I want to address the fact that even after it's been almost two and a half years and these same officers that I've had uh, brought into question to this board um, and through a lawsuit also um, are still working for this city. Um, there has been over 35 cases dismissed uh, because of these illegal searches uh, that were filed by these officers. Uh, there has been no type of anything done to these officers and we got this community policing thing that's supposed to be going on. I stay on Cross Street, uh, about one street over five blocks away from the double homicide that happened uh, a few weeks back, the two young ladies that were killed. Uh, as I'm campaigning right now, I canvas sun up to sun down. I was actually walking on the street, or walking past the street when a young lady got shot, uh, the 14 year old young lady got shot in her stomach uh, not too long ago. Um, walking down Martin Luther King, I don't know who's responsible for putting lights on that street, man. It's, it's dark down there. It shouldn't be a situation where I'm walking throughout my neighborhood and um, everybody's door I knock on telling me I need to be safe out here. Um, we can't seem to solve murders, but we can continue to harass the people um, throughout the communities of color. Um, looking at this board, uh, Mr. Forsen, I appreciate you um, that you're stepping down or not running again uh, and giving the opportunity for some younger voices to uh, be heard on this board. I think there's a few more people that should probably follow lead, but I think um, I don't see where $18,000 is worth a lot of these people causing the harm that they're causing to this city. Um, Dr. Compiris, I know you're the, one of the at-large uh, directors. Um, there's a case, Roberson versus Phillips County, where a person is going to attempt to do what I'm attempting to do, uh, what they attempted to do, but not on the state and the city level. Uh, I don't believe in candidates running unopposed. I'm more than likely, barring I win this election on March 3rd, I will be your competition um, for your seat in November. Um, and as far as um, um, uh, my, my, this city altogether, I think you all, you, you see that the state of Arkansas made over $28 million of marijuana. And every time Mr. Ken Richardson tries to decriminalize marijuana, you all vote against it. This city is about 50, about 40 percent black. And you know that the statistics of black people being harassed by marijuana crimes uh, is, is, is ridiculous. So I feel like you all should, should do something more if you care about your, your constituents other than having black people arrested uh, for minor situations such as possession of, of marijuana when the state is continuing to make money off of it. Ms. Angela Davidson.